Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you step-by-step -step how to build a word count tracker using Notion. This is perfect for writers, but even if you're not a writer, you can use the same template for any kind of numerical value, including how many pages you're reading per day or how many minutes you're running each day and so on. Let's dive right in. Let's first start by going to an empty Notion page and we're going to title this template Word Count Tracker. And let's go ahead and add a cover photo and we'll click change cover and go to Unsplash, which has a huge library of stock images. And we're going to search for notebook and let's go with this one. And now let's go ahead and add an icon by typing, uh, clicking add icon. And we're going to click this icon slot and go to Notion's own icon set. And we're going to go with a pencil like this one. And now let's go ahead and go to the top right hand corner, three dots and click small text full width. And this is going to allow you to have much more space on the page. Now let's click empty page and get started on this word count tracker. So for this tracker, we are only going to have one single database. And to make the database, we're going to type slash database. And we're going to click table view. And let's go ahead and click plus new database. And we're going to title this simple word count tracker. And let's go ahead and go to the three dots here and change the layout so that we hide the database title and make it look a bit cleaner. And now we're going to adjust the properties. So to adjust properties, we're going to first delete these tags, unless you want tags in your database. And to do that, we're going to click it and then we're going to delete property. And next, we're going to make sure to add a date property. So we're going to click plus here and search for date. And then we are going to add another property. So we have date and name. So the next thing we want to add is the word count. So word count would be a number property. So we're going to type number here and then choose number here. And we are going to click out of it. And actually we need to rename this. So let's rename this word count. And we could even change this number here, but this seems to work. And next we are going to add a formula. So type formula, we're going to click formula here. And what we need to know is whether or not we met our daily writing goal. So we're going to take the word count and see if that meets our writing goal. And to make that formula, it's going to be different for everyone because it depends on what kind of goal you want. So we're going to first rename this writing goal. And here you could even add the goal so it's clear for you what you're tracking. So let's say that you're trying to write a thousand words per day. So we could put a thousand. And then we can go to edit here. And now we're going to make a Notion formula. And Notion just released Notion 2.0 for formulas, which makes it a little bit easier. But Notion formulas are still something that many people struggle with. So what we're trying to achieve is to check whether or not the word count here matches the writing goal. So if we go a thousand or above, it should tell us that we met the writing goal. So the first thing we need to do is make an if statement, which is going to check whether or not something is true. So we're going to type if, and then we'll see this condition. So if there's a condition, then this is what it's going to give if it's true, and this is what it's going to give if it's false. So we're going to click here if, and then we want to check if the word count. So then we can search for this property by typing word. Then we're going to click this property here, and it should be greater or equal. So we type greater or equal than 1000. And if that's true, it's going to be met. So we're going to put this in quotations. And if it's not true, it's going to be not met. And now we can click done and we can test it. So right now it's empty. So it says it's not met. But let's say that we write it wrote 1020 words, then the writing goal is met. And to make this even more visual, we're going to add emojis to this so that it's going to show a specific emoji. 
So let's first search for the emoji by doing colon and then we want a check mark. And let's choose this one. And for the not meant we want an X. So we're gonna do colon and then X or no. So we can choose this one. And now what we can do is we can copy this and we can add it to this formula by going to edit property, edit formula. And instead in here, in this quotation, we can put the check for the met and we're going to put the X for the not met. So we go edit property again, formula and not met. We're going to put the X and done. So now we have a really nice visual here to see the ones where you've met your goal and the ones where you haven't met the goal. And next it would be nice just to add a quick notes here in case you want to add notes about that writing session. So let's just add notes and this is a text property. So you can write whatever you want in here. And now what we want to do is to make sure we can calculate our word count. So we need to go to this column and then go to this calculate here and then we're going to sum everything. So now the sum is 1020. So let's say that on this day we wrote 200 and this day we write 2000. So then we would have 3220 total. So this is a good way to keep track of your sum of the word count. And in this view that we have right now, we are basically just seeing everything in this table. So we should rename this by clicking table, rename, and we're going to call this view all. And now let's actually just fill in a little bit here so that we can kind of visualize how it would actually work. So now that we've filled in some of these rows, we can adjust the sort. So if we go to sort, we can sort it by date. So we can go to date and then we can check whether we want ascending or descending view. So if we do descending view, we'll see the newest on top. And if we do ascending view, we'll see the oldest on top. So for this, maybe we should do descending so that we can see the newest on the top and we can save for everyone. So now what we're going to do is make some new database views. So for that, we're going to click view all here and we are going to duplicate this. And we're going to duplicate it one more time by clicking again. And we are going to name this rename and we're going to rename this monthly. And we're going to rename this one yearly. So in this way, you can keep track of your yearly totals and you can keep track of your monthly totals. And how we're going to do the monthly is now we're going to go to the three dots here and then we're going to go to group and we're going to group it by date and we're going to group by month. So now we see how much was total in September and how much the total was in October. And what we can also do is hide the ones without a date or change the order. So you can go to the three dots here and then you can go to the group and we can sort it by newest first and we can hide empty groups by toggling this on so that we have this clean view like this. And then we can go to yearly and what we can do here is we can go to the three dots as well, go to group and group by date. And now we can date by and choose year. And we can hide empty groups and we can choose to show newest first. So this is a handy way to see all of your writing here, all of your monthly totals here, and all of your yearly totals here. And this, as you can see, this could be really good for anything you wanna track, which has a number property. So this could be book pages that you read every day and so on. And one thing just to make sure is to always edit this formula. So we've provided this formula for you now, but if you have a different goal, then just make sure to add a separate number here, depending on your needs. So if it's 300, you'd be 300. If you want to write 3000 words a day, you'd put 3000 and so on.
The next thing we'd like to show you is how to actually track your word count in Notion. So there's a really handy way to do this and that is by going to the three dots of any Notion page and then you scroll all the way down and then you'll see here word count 42 last edited by and the, the date and time today. And if you're in the database, all you have to do is open it and then if you write some words here and you go to the three dots in this database page, you can go all the way down and you'll see that there's three word counts here as well. So that's how you can track word counts if you're using Notion for writing. So that's the basics of creating a word count tracker with Notion. We hope that this is useful for you and we'll leave the link to the finished template in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.